Well, they are teachers, they are roasters, they're business partners who believe in giving back to their community. We are excited to welcome Kurt Douch and Billy Miller, owners of Grade A Grounds, to the show. Someone brand new. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you. us. And I said, have you guys been friends for a long time? You're actually family members, brother-in-laws. That's cool. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. So, yeah. fun. so how did you get started roasting coffee? So coffee is one of our passions, both of us being educators, uh, myself in Kingsport and Johnson City, and we know how important it is to drink coffee. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So You get it. Yes, yes. very I mean, much. We've got to so have our coffee. We took this passion and just kind of had an idea of, well, how could we support our community? And um, our wives really helped us take this idea and make it to what it is today. And so we we wanted to do two things as a business. We wanted to support our uh, students in our local community, and we've done that by partnering with Coalition for Kids. Love and it. so we, we donate 5% of all of our proceeds to them. And then the second thing we wanted to do was display students' artistic abilities. So as an elementary teacher myself, I, I know sometimes the arts can maybe be overlooked. So uh -huh. we wanted to give uh, students a chance to display their talents and we do that by putting their artwork on all of our bags. And look, I was looking at, so does each one of them have a different art? Yes. Like, mm -hmm. Oh my yes. goodness. So we, we have six different ones. Uh, these were students from John Adams Elementary in Kingsport and we have 10 more that we're hoping to get out in the next week uh, from Harold McCormick Elementary in Elizabethton. Oh my gosh, and as a parent, how cool would that be to <laughs> get to like have that commemorative bag, you know? Yes. I would yes. still use the beans, but I would <laughs> save the bag. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you have um, a few different flavors, That's one right. that you're just kind of getting ready to release. Yes, so hopefully in the next, would you say three to four weeks, yeah. we'll be pushing out our new uh, blueberry flavored coffee, which we're very, very excited about. Very, very excited about. Um, the first round we have that we titled Organized Chaos is a kind of a medium roast Brazilian bean though. Um, so it has sort of flavors of like dark chocolate. It's a little more oh. heavy bodied, sort of a toffee or like a nutty almond flavor too. But from where it's a medium roast, I don't think it's too, too overbearing, but you still get that, that good flavor that you want from your that your sounds coffee. delicious. I like it. Oh like my it. goodness, yes. And then you've got one kind of going for us today. We do if you would like to try some. I would, lo yeah. I would love to try <laughs> absolutely, some. Absolutely, absolutely. So here's a cup for you. And this is our new blueberry, I believe, correct? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh my goodness, can you? Oh, you can sm it smells like a blueberry muffin. <laughs> That's happiness in a cup, right? Uh, what do the what do the students think of this? Like, have you kind of shared with the kids? Like, yes. what a great opportunity to teach them yes. through your own business plan. And so, and we actually partner with the art teachers at the school, and so the art teachers are also involved, and the kids love it. They're they're so excited to have their artwork on display and for sale, and they're mm -hmm. they're they're. They're famous, right? Oh, yeah, so, so they have a business sure. selling their artwork. They love it, and and we love it. It's it's meant a lot to us as yeah. well. Just not not just the selling of the coffee, but the impact that we have um, on the children, uh, their their confidence mm -hmm. and their abilities, and just the impact on the community. The coalition has been great. Yes, oh, they do and such wonderful things. Us. Yeah, yes. they've been an incredible resource. And to be able to support that and know you're giving back, and that's just that's right off. The, how long have you guys been doing this? Man, really only what would you say a couple of months yeah. so really? all of our so this all of the really yes new. all of the research into it uh, probably started late February mm -hmm. early March and we didn't start selling until May 1st and okay. that was when I started learning a lot about coffee and and how it goes from a green bean Isn't that crazy it is and to our what we see as our normal coffee so that was a learning experience for me so um, but really we've only been selling for uh, the last month yeah and you're roasting it you kind of brought one of the roasters just to show us because I was we like did. how in the world do you even start like you know we always hear about the guys that get together in the garage and they're brewing their beers or they're <laughs> making their wine that's right so now you guys are over there roasting your coffee beans that's right in our kitchen <laughs> yes. that's awesome yes. that's awesome so is it is it science and math and is it like well it, it did take I think a couple of weeks because we knew we wanted a medium roast but I don't think we realized that you pretty much have to 
calibrate the roaster more or less and find a formula that gives you the very sort of specific yeah. flavor profile uh -huh. that you're looking for. So that was kind of tricky. Yes, we, we did 15 different mm -hmm. roasts to find right. our flavor of the blend of organized chaos that we love. See? And you didn't yeah. give up, just like the students out there that you're teaching, just don't give up. We're going to try That's another right. one. That is right. All right, where can we find your coffee so we can help you by supporting you so you can continue to support our community? So gradeagrounds.com is probably our primary means of sailing. Um, and we are actually offering pickup at local schools that changes just kind of depending on the school system that we're working with for all local art. Um, of course, we also do shipping, and just recently, because it's the summer and we're off now as teachers, <laughs> yes. we're also going to be offering um, delivery for anyone that's in the Tri-Cities, too. Fantastic. Well, Kurt and Billy, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Fabulous coffee, incredible story. There is their information, gradeagrounds.com.